So here's what's new in Unity 2017.3. As of recording this video, it's still in public beta, but I expect it to be out sometime in December. All right, let's see what it has to offer. The first feature worth mentioning is the panoramic 2D and 3D video. This allows for playback of full 360 degree video onto the scene skybox. Especially cool for all of the VR enthusiasts. In 2017.3, Unity is also introducing a new transform tool. The new tool combines the functionality of the standard transform controls. This means that you can easily move rotate and scale game objects using the same tool. Personally, I've been using the keyboard shortcuts for quite a while now, but I think the new tool could be really nice for beginners. With the new version, we're also seeing the introduction of assembly definition files. This might sound really scary, but it's actually a really cool feature for anyone working on a larger game project. You see, normally Unity automatically defines how scripts compile to managed assemblies. This means that code in your scripts gets outputted to files defined by Unity. Typically, as you add more scripts, it will take longer for the editor to compile these files. This can lead to annoying wait times as your project gets bigger. Now however, you can define your own managed assemblies. This means that you can choose which scripts compile to what file. This way only the required assemblies are rebuilt when making changes to a script. And this can greatly reduce the amount of time you need to wait for compilation. As always, with the new update comes some nice improvements to the particle system. The velocity over lifetime module now contains a new setting, which modifies the speed of the particles over time. This makes it much easier to control particle speeds without affecting their direction. On top of that, you can now also create ribbonized particle trails using the particle system. This allows particles to be connected based on their age instead of each particle leaving a trail behind it. This is cool because we can now add effects between the different particles. But the biggest change to the particle system is probably probably the brand new standard particle shaders. Unity is releasing two standard shaders for use with particles, surface and unlit. These shaders provide all the core particle functionality that you would expect, but using an interface similar to the existing standard shader. This makes it easy to configure stuff like blend modes, alpha thresholds, soft particle settings and so on. And finally, we are seeing some nice changes to the particle editor. This includes the ability to preview other looping effects instead of just the selected one. The profiler is also getting an update. Most of it's internal but the changes should make the system more scalable and performant. A nice side effect of the changes include the added ability to profile custom threads using a C# -sharp API. The cloth component has also been improved. We finally have cloth self collision. Woohoo! You can now paint constraints onto the cloth using a brush based method. And with the new update, you can also enable inter collision to have different cloth objects collide with each other. I really can't explain to you how happy I am that someone did that for me. There are really way too many changes to cover in this video. Here's a list of some of them. Finally, 2017.3 of course comes with a number of smaller changes and bug fixes. You can download the beta today using the link in the description. And if you haven't had your fill with all the new stuff, I'll have a link to the release notes as well. Oh, and if you like this series, please consider supporting on Patreon. With Patreon, you can donate a monthly amount that you decide and you can cancel it at any time. It's a really great way to help keep this channel going. Other than that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all the awesome Patreon supporters who donated in October and a special thanks to Dude Armin, Hans Haftun, Cole Cabral, Superman the Great, James P, Thomas Volley, Cyborg Mummy, Jason Latido, Derek Heemskirk, Faisal Marify, Manolis, Nick Lang, Aaron, Robert Bund, and Peter Locke. You guys rock!